Hello everyone, welcome to my channel and welcome back to Missy's Kitchen PEI. Today in the kitchen we're going to be making a Christmas favorite. It has been in my family for a very, very long time and it is nuts and bolts. Yes, you can make them at home and they are divine. So we're going to get started. We'll go to the workstation and I'll show you what you need to make nuts and bolts. Okay, so what you're going to need to make your nuts and bolts are Cheerios, Shreddies, some salted pretzels, salted peanuts, some butter, some spices, and some W sauce. Now I also have a pan that I have sprayed and put parchment paper on. It's just a cookie sheet. Uh, that's what I find the best to do this in. And I also have a big bowl for mixing. So let's get to and I'll show you how to do this. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and put two cups of shreddies into our bowl. And we're going to do the same for the Cheerios, two cups. And then two cups of pretzels. And one and a half cups of peanuts. And let me just grab a spoon so we can mix this up. Just give everything a stir. Okay, and we're going to set this aside and we're going to go over to the stove top. Be right back. Okay, so I have my burner on about seven and a half and we're just going to take our butter Put it in our pan and our W sauce and our spices. And we're just going to mix this until the butter melts. Make sure you keep stirring it. Don't want anything to stick. I can remember my aunt making this when I was probably maybe five years old. Every year she made this and um, always saved me a bowl. So all we're doing here is melting. We're not going to boil this. Pretty simple recipe and very very tasty okay so we're gonna take this off the burner now because that's all we needed to do we're not boiling it just melting the butter I'll meet you back at the workstation okay so the next thing we're gonna do is we're just gonna give this a little stir and then we're just gonna pour it over top of our other ingredients make sure you get as much as you can out of the pan Now you can stir this, but I have a lid for this bowl and I'm just gonna put it on and shake it. Just wanna make sure that everything is covered I was gonna shake it for longer, but it's just really noisy. So I'll just stir it. Make sure you stir this and make sure everything is incorporated. I think my favorite in the whole recipe is the shreddies. That's my favorite. And what I'm going to do, because I like it just a little bit salty, I'm going to put a little more salt on and mix that in. Okay, 
And that looks good. We'll take our baking sheets and we're just going to put everything on there. Now you're going to cook this for an hour, but you're going to check it every 15 minutes and just give it a little stir. So I'll meet you back when I do that. That looks good. Yeah, and into the oven. Okay, so we took it out of the oven after the first 15 minutes and we're just going to give it a stir. All of those flavors are going to marry in the oven. Everything's getting nice and toasted. Just kind of give it a good little stir. And then we're going to put it in for another 15 minutes and repeat the process three times. So it'll be in the oven for an hour and every 15 minutes you're going to give it a little stir. And I will see you back when this is all done. Okay, so this lovely nuts and bolts mixture is out of the oven. I'm just going to give it a little stir. Smells so good. Everything is nice and toasty. So we're just going to go ahead and put it in a bowl. Normally I wouldn't use my cookie scoop for this, but I feel we might need it. Oh, losing some on the floor I am. You're just going to put it in a bowl and you are going to enjoy it. I will come right back and we'll give it a taste. So here are the nuts and bolts that we made and uh, it smells so good in here I can't tell you. And we're going to give it a little taste. Mmm. Mmm. So good. The peanuts have roasted in the oven. The flavors have really come out. Everything is just spectacular. Now, I do like the shreddies the best. Mm. <laughs> this is way better than what you would get in a bag at the grocery store or a box. You made this at home. This is a great snack to have while you're watching a Christmas movie with your family. And I think that's what we're going to do tonight. So uh, I hope you make this and I hope your family loves it as much as my family does. And if you like this video, please subscribe and hit the like button. Until next time, bye for now.